AITA for blowing up when I found that my husband recorded my therapy session? My 26F. Mom passed away in deck. It was hard for me to process what happened. I have to say me and mom had a lot of issues between us. There's so much that I couldn't say to her. And I'm struggling with grief. My dad is deceased. My mom was my remaining parent. And growing up I had many issues with her. I went no contact with her several times. Then I reconnected with her. Then we'd get into an argument again and the same thing happened. I feel bad for not trying enough to fix the situation. I keep getting shamed by family members asking if I'm happy now that my mom is gone but how can someone be happy when their mother pass away? I'm a mess plus I'm 5 months pregnant after 2 miscarriages and it's been difficult. I started therapy 2 weeks ago. It's online therapy. I go into the bedroom and I have my session with my therapist. I ask my husband to not come into the room or interrupt after he insisted he wanted to be in the room but wasn't allowed. He then started coming in several times just barging in. Brining me coffee or water but I know it's a way for him to hear something. I got annoyed I told him he was causing me so much stress and he stopped coming into the room. Two days later. My husband stopped asking me questions all of a sudden. Stopped insisting on being in the room. Stopped interrupting my sessions. I thought he finally got it. But yesterday as I was doing some cleaning. I heard my own voice coming from the bedroom. I was puzzled I walked into the bedroom and found my husband with his phone on his ear listening to my voice. I then realized that he recorded my voice during my therapy session and was playing the recording. I asked him he said it was nothing then he admitted it was a recording of my therapy session. I lost it I blew up and I started yelling at him. He told me to calm down it was no big deal. And that he was just curious to know and also wanted to figure out what my problem is and maybe help out. I told him it wasn't his place and just because we're married doesn't mean he can disrespect me and be inconsiderate of my feelings. This is a very important thing to me and he kept saying, I'm sorry but I just couldn't help it. I was infuriated there were things between my mom and I that I find hard to talk about and I found what he did disrespectful. I walked out and he kept saying I overreacted and that he's not a stranger. He's my husband. I went to stay with my sister who said I was harsh on him and shouldn't have reacted this way. He apologized and said he already deleted it. Even said that I can take a few days to stay with my sister to calm down after he saw how much I was mad. I should mention that he mentioned several times that he was worried about me because I haven't been talking to him much. And I understand he was worried but that is not an excuse. Information. I'm sorry I forgot to mention my husband's age. He's 31. NTA. Your husband is a massive although. What got to me was when he kept repeating, I'm sorry but I just couldn't help it a version of. Those words were said to me by my ex-husband. When I had finally had enough of his emotionally abusive behavior. I told him I wanted a divorce. He countered, in a bid to change my mind, apologize. I knew I was being mean to you. I just couldn't help myself at that moment. It felt like the world stopped, became dead silent, and I could hear a record screech. I looked into my ex's eyes and realized very chillingly that I had no idea who the hell I married. The fact that he had no issue whatsoever in being cruel to me and justifying it that he just couldn't help himself scared the living crap out of me. I understood very clearly that this man was a danger to me and I needed to get gone. It's been 10 years into this day I will never forget what he said because at that moment he revealed exactly who he was. Your husband is the same way up. He has just shown you exactly who he is. He has no respect for you. His claim that he wants to help you is a lie. He wants to know what makes you tick so he can use that information to manipulate you in future. A true partner does not disregard the other's boundaries. 
does not surreptitiously record a private conversation. And most importantly, he wasn't planning on being caught. This man is giving you a clear picture of what the future holds should you stay. It took me 13 years to leave my ex. Please don't waste your life looking over your shoulder at what the next thing your husband will do. NTA. Has he always been this controlling? Because maybe you should stop overlooking it. Oh hell no. Let's see here. Ignored your boundaries when you asked him for privacy. Continued to ignore your boundaries when you reiterated only stopped interrupting or trying to listen when he secretly recorded your private session with your therapist. Still hasn't apologized and is one, telling you to calm down. Two, saying that you overreacted and three, present himself as the good guy because he's trying to help. Opt schedule a session with therapist immediately and talk over how you are going to establish boundaries if you choose to remain in this marriage. This is a huge violation. Your sister is also in awe for questioning your reaction. He raped your innermost thoughts. He ignored your nose and pushed ahead without consent for emotions that you did not willingly give him. You are NTA and I hope you can find a safe place to gather your emotions. Talk to your therapist and determine your next steps. Unless your husband does a 180 and recognizes that he was 100% in the wrong here and has a lot of fixing of himself. You should get out now. Edit. Formatting. NTA that is such a huge violation of your privacy. You wouldn't be wrong to never trust him again. NTA. Well, therapy is, and should always be, a safe space between you and your therapist this is grossly invasive and quite frankly disturbing you have every right to be furious how can you trust him again i'm also concerned with the phrasing of he will let you stay with your sister for a few days no just no you will stay there as long as is needed and he gets no say in the matter i'm not going to tell you to leave him because that's a big decision to make with everything you have going on. But you do need to think long and hard about the future of this relationship. If you stay, you will need to consider and identify the steps you will need him to take to regain your trust. And then you need to clearly communicate those steps and hold him accountable. I'm so sorry this is happening to you because you have so much on your plate right now. NTA. Find somewhere to stay with someone who will back you up that this is a hideous violation of the privacy that you should be able to expect in therapy, and reveal some deeply ugly things about your husband. If he truly can't resist the compulsion to interfere, then he needs to see a therapist to figure out why he can't handle not being involved in everything, or why he's so scared you might say negative things about him or whatever's going on, but odds are he's perfectly capable of making choices that respect you, and just doesn't want to. NTA NTA NTA. He violated your trust and boundaries in a huge way. NTA location flag location flag location flag red flags here, red flags there, here, there, here, there, red flags everywhere, location flag location flag location flag. Edit. Jesus Christ people, I get that red flags are a stereotype on this sub, but does it really make me such a hive-minded fuck to point out a clear problem? NTA. This isn't a red flag, this is the thing the red flags warn you about. Tell your therapist about this. If you are in a position to leave him, at least consider it. I don't know how a couple can move past such a huge violation of trust NTA. NTA, that's an incredibly fucked up invasion of privacy and it's a crime under both federal and State laws on recording a telecommunication without the consent of one or both parties. Never mind what your sister has to say. Tell your therapist about this and ask what they think. NTA. 
And if he wants to find out what your problem is he will find part of the answer by looking in a mirror. He couldn't help it? I'd consider leaving him and saying, I'm sorry, but I just couldn't help it. NTA. Edit. Also, I'm really sorry for your loss. NTA. Husband or not that is a severe invasion of your privacy. I've had online therapy sessions that my fiancé has come home to me in absolute mess and not once has he tried to pry about my sessions and only takes what I offer to him. This is absolutely disgusting and I would be re-evaluating my relationship if this happened to me. NTA. That's an extreme violation of your privacy. Everything about this is creepy and manipulative. The fact that he didn't properly apologize or admit to do anything wrong is genuinely horrifying. Oh my god. NTA. That is such a horrible invasion of privacy and he clearly does t respect your boundaries whatsoever. Tell your therapist what he did. You did not overreact. Your sister unreacted in not being furious with you. Sounds like he is afraid you will say something he is not comfortable with your sharing to the therapist he knows better. Just doesn't care. He too can help himself to not act like he has. Your therapist has a right to know she, he was recorded. I would not warn him, you will tell what happened. Your therapist might have some good advice or suggestions with that. Your sister underreacted as she should have been just as mad as you. None of my sisters would have ever told me I overreacted to bad spouse behavior. You confided in her and she judged you. If he wants to help you give him a broom. NTA. That's something I would divorce someone over. One of the most important aspects of therapy is having a safe place to talk about feelings that may be half-formed. Not entirely fair to the other person. Related to grief, etc. Privacy and a safe space to do that are critical. Your husband's behavior was disrespectful, controlling, and actively harmful to you because it very likely means you won't feel safe opening up in therapy. Knowing he could be trying to invade that space at any time. I'm sorry. This is awful. NTA, he couldn't help it. That's the most pitiful attempt at apology I've ever heard. NTA. This is the most horrific violation of boundaries imaginable bar physical violations. I cannot imagine how you could ever trust this person again. Also, this is likely illegal. You need to tell your therapist of course. Because their privacy was also violated. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.